If you are anything like me five years ago, I've started playing this game and I did not know how to get to the hard mode or even defeat the wall of flesh because I didn't know how to play this game. Now, if you are anything like me, you probably do not know how to do any of this stuff. I have a lot of videos on this on, on this subject, okay? I, I wanna make this one right. And I have a lot of comments telling me that they don't understand on how to get the ores and how the ores work. They don't understand on how things just, they don't understand how it is. So I'm gonna try to make you guys understand perfectly. I'm going to try to get it as clear as possible in this video today. So I hope you guys are down with that. Now to get into hard mode, you are going to have to defeat the wall of flesh. I am going to show you the best way to do that today. This is actually a hard mode guide and not just a ore guide. I want to show you guys how hard mode is going to actually work. I want to show you how everything that you need to know on how to get into hard mode and how everything's going to work and how you get the ores. It's only going to go as far as the ores and defeating the wall of flesh. I'm going to probably end up making a different video about the mechanical bosses, but I'll even show you how to do the mechanical bosses. I'll give you some tips about it, but I'm not going to show you too much about them in this video. So if you guys are just now defeating the world of eaters or the brain of Cthulhu, then you guys don't need to do this step. But to get even as close as to the uh, wall of flesh as possible, you guys are going to want to go ahead, go to your corruption, corruption or crimson, whatever one you chose, because you, ch you can choose them now, and you guys are going to either have one of these pickaxes. Now, besides the point, you guys are going to want to go there and defeat the boss, Brain of Cthulhu, and or the World of Eaters, I think that's the boss name, inside your corruption, and you'll go ahead and get the pickaxe. Now, there is different differences in each corruption. So if I go to the map, you guys will have shadow orbs if you have corruption. If you have crimson, you'll have like these hearts. I think they're still called shadow orbs, but they're like shaped as hearts. I don't know uh, if, if, it, if it's a difference. Then you'll have, you'll be able to make one of these pickaxes. These pickaxes are actually important to get to the wall of flesh, including the molten pickaxe. Actually, the molten pickaxe is what you do, what you'll probably end up having even after you defeat the wall of flesh. Now, everyone in my last video has said laughs in river shark or Reaver Shark, I think that's what this is called, Reaver Shark. Reaver Shark. The Reaver Shark pickaxe, as of 1.4, can't do anything to these ores here. This is Obsidian and this is Hellstone. The Reaver Shark can't do nothing as of 1.4. And I'm pretty sure someone corrected people in my comment section down below <laughs> saying that 1.4 is um, the killer of the Reaver Shark. So you guys can't laugh at the Reaver Shark anymore and use your Reaver Shark as a uh, to mine these because it doesn't work no more. And I mean, on your pro on your platform, it probably does work, but other than that, on PC, it doesn't work. So you guys are gonna need to have either a Nightmare uh, Pickaxe or a Deathbringer Pickaxe, and I say whatever one you chose. They're, these are the same pickaxe. Even though they have different types of like style, I know the Deathbringer Pickaxe has 70 pickaxe power and this one has 65, but they're both able to mine Hellstone. So I already showed you guys this in the last episode. So um, that is, obviously there. So you guys are going to need these two to even get to the wall of flesh. You guys are going to need to mine a lot of these two items because in order to make hellstone bars, you're going to need to have one obsidian and uh, I think three of these. So you guys are going to need to go down that to the underworld or hell as if you want to call it. Um, it's whatever you want to call it. And you guys are going to need to farm for a lot of these. Let me tell you something. Obsidian skin potion is your best friend when it comes to this. Uh, I'm just saying you have obsidian skin potion. You go down there. This is your best friend to get hellstone. All you have to do is get lava and water, you know, and get and you can get obsidian. It's the simple, simplest things. I recommend to defeat the wall, uh, wall of flesh is the molten armor set. It might take you a little while to get it, but the molten armor set is the, the, what I recommend to defeat the wall of flesh. Uh, I use it all the time. Every time I make a new world, I always go and I always run the molten set and that I can, I can tell you I've always defeated the wall of flesh. And I also recommend to at least get a stack of stars and a star cannon because this is going to be another best friend. This is the most range damage thing you can get. I recommend you to get a star cannon because it is the most damaged range damage thing you can get that is pre hard mode and it is not hard mode. So I recommend to get that. That is also going to destroy the wall of flesh. Go ahead and also farm for as much as fallen stars as you possibly can because that is going to help you 
to destroy the wall of flesh. Uh, I use it all the time. It's what I found out. And you also are going to need iron skin, regeneration, many health potions, and some other potions. If you guys want to add some well-fed stuff in there, just find out what you can get. And as much as pre-hard mode stuff that you can get as like to get, add defense to your stuff in the molten set. If you can find anything that adds a lot of defense or even actually go to the uh, goblin. I don't know if he's pre-hard mode or not. You, you can probably reforge your stuff to have to get your defense up as much as you possibly can and with the help of iron skin as well that will help a lot so this is really really gonna actually help you once you get all that make sure to go down into the underworld because that's where you have to go so let's when you get into this vert area obviously things can die really quickly so watch as I can tell you <laughs> this worm that's gonna come back up whatever it is I have armor on yes I know but I the armor that I have it's fine it, I'm just trying to tell you guys it's gonna be a little bit different for you guys and it is gonna be me because of all the armor that I have on but I do recommend the molten armor so if we go ahead we put the guide doll we throw the guide doll in there the wall of flesh is going to be woken. I don't know which way he's coming. He's coming the wrong way. Okay, well, I'm going to use my sword to get rid of the hungries. Because I don't uh, really... So, I know you guys are probably... I know you guys don't have none of this stuff, alright? I expected him to come the other way. <laughs> Anyways, so get your star cannon out. And I'm going to show you how good the star cannon does do to the wall of flesh. Make sure you don't waste your, you waste your um, star cannon. As you can tell, if you get a good amount right here. I know you got, also you guys are going to need to make a, a runway. I recommend a runway. Make sure you know which way he's going to be coming in. So, because don't do what I did because uh, now, as you can tell, I ran out of stars. So you're going to need to actually use what you have. Right now I'm going to use what I have, which is my sword. I'm Because I want to make sure the video is quickly and done and good so that's what you have so whatever you have i also recommend the harpoon the harpoon does do a lot of damage to him it does damage going in and going out the harpoon uh, the harpoon comes from the goblin army so uh i use the harpoon to do to defeat him and it's 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 worked out for me many times so so we since we defeated him now we are in hard mode now you guys are ready to get into the ores so you guys got your Whatever he dropped for you, he got, to, maybe you got an emblem, maybe you got a mask. I, I don't keep the mask. So, that's that. But you did get the pawn hammer, I think that's what it's called. And this is a hammer that is actually going to be very, 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 very important towards the ores. As you can tell, it's strong enough to break demon altars. And as you can tell, there was a... Uh, I think that was a possessed armor. You guys are going to see a lot of uh, hard mode bosses now. It's going to be a little bit harder than it is with me, I know. But we're going to go, and I'm going to go, I'll be right back. I'm going to go to the corruption area that I have in this world. Okay, so now we are in the corruption area. And I do now want to tell you guys, this is where you go to def uh, break the al altars. You go in these areas. Now, this is going to be obviously very if you have went and you have the crimson. The crimson is also inside that little cave. This is different. It's just kind of this, it's, it's the same thing though. You guys want to go and break the altars that are inside your corruption area. Now, be warned, uh, this actually does cause the corruption to spread a l faster than it does. So, you want to take your pawn hammer. And you want to grab and just break the oars. Now, see how my uh, the thing on the bottom there? But you have this message at the bottom. I got cobalt instead of palladium. See, that would either. So I got cobalt, right? In some cases, you guys might get palladium with cobalt. It is the other half of what it is. So you guys might get cobalt like I did or you guys might get Plidium if I go now it's been blessed with Mithril which is also the other half of Orkelkium that is the other ver uh, other part so instead of this world having or Orkelkium 
it has mithril and I can still get through hard mode with only mithril and I don't need orkelkium and adamantite instead of titanium. So that means this we got adamantite instead of titanium. As I keep doing this, you will keep seeing this message on the bottom of the screen and you will keep seeing that and it is kind of it's your world is going to choose what hard mode ores you have for you. You can't choose if whether you have orkelkium or mithril. You will not have all of the ores you are only going to have a set of three it, it is completely randomized there's no like way it, it it's randomized you can have palladium mithril adamantite or you can have palladium or calcium titanium it's completely it's different it's completely randomized you will not always grab all the ores so if you keep breaking them see how i was uh, blessed with cobalt it's always going to be cobalt now because i i have already gotten cobalt instead of palladium so now i will always be blessed with palladium Mithril and adamantite, and adamantite because of it's the ores that I got in this world. But if you guys understand everything very well and I made it very clear, I hope it was a really clear video for you guys. I hope it helped out a lot. I try to make these videos very clear and yeah, so I very ho I hope this was very helpful for you guys. I hope it really was and uh, if it was helpful, let me know down in the comments below. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. And also, yeah, no, just I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. <laughs> I have nothing else to say.